Hi, I'm Dr. Art Hister and this is your Medical Pipeline. Today I want to talk to you about a risk factor about heart health that we don't often pay enough attention to. Now, everybody knows that you ought to be doing exercise, you ought to be watching your cholesterol levels, you should pay attention to, uh, to how much you smoke, how much you drink, those kind of factors, because they really do significantly impact your risk of heart disease. But one factor that's really overlooked is your family history. Now, to a certain extent, you can't escape your family history. It's obviously too late to change your your parents and your siblings, although many of us would, would, would if we could, but you can't do that. So you inherit a certain risk for heart disease based on your genetic profile. And it's a pretty strong risk. The, the more heart disease there is at a premature, in premature ages in the members of your family, the greater your risk. But a recent study in the British Medical Journal came up with a really interesting risk in terms of the family that many of us don't think about, and that is the risk that your spouse has. If your spouse has premature heart disease, if they develop angina 40 or 50 or have had a heart attack at that uh, premature age, then your risk goes up significantly as well. It's not that you're related to your spouse, obviously not, we don't allow that in our culture, it's the fact that you guys are living the same lifestyle and you have many of the same environmental risks. So here's a warning, it's a really good warning, if your spouse has premature heart disease, then there's a very good chance that you have it too, even if you haven't got symptoms and you should be thoroughly evaluated for it.